thank you very much for uh, joining me today. We are streaming on two platforms, um, Instagram, Instagram Live and uh, Facebook Live. Hi, people. And uh, today uh, we are going to enjoy a grooming of the Bichon Havanese. Um, or I don't know what is the nickname of the breed, but they are gorgeous breed with a wonderful uh, with a wonderful hair that I really love and enjoy grooming. And because of a uh, specific type of this hair, sometimes it's very difficult to keep a good condition of it, get very easily tangled, and sometimes, if not maintained properly, um, the clients could end up doing the shake down of these dogs rather than just enjoying a nice and, and, and long flowy coat that is, uh, that is uh, uh, unique and very specific to the breed. Uh, it's very easily tangled the dog and because of that uh, you might end up seeing them in the ring side uh, corded so they, nice, they, they, they might look very nice and cute if uh, you maintain the cords of this breed and uh, you can find, uh, find beautiful pictures of Havanese shown, uh, shown corded if you just google it. Just google it and then you will see I think a couple of years uh, in a row the best, in, best of breed uh, on the Westminster dog show was corded Havanese. They look, they look awesome. Okay, but we are not speaking today about the corded breed. Uh, if there is any questions you might want to put up, uh, I, I don't know if they are they able to put it on the face, on the Instagram as well. So you might ask on Instagram, or you can ask. Do you see questions? Can you see uh, comments? Because we have a lot of comments. Okay, say hello. Say where where are you from? So we can we can uh, we can start a conversation going. Start um, like, share, comment, and uh, love this video so we can get more people engaged. Because even though we will speak about uh, we will speak about uh, Havanese, this procedure will be applied on uh, will be possible to be applied on a lot of other breeds that uh, have a drop coat and you want to maintain a uh, drop coat drop coat breed like this. Okay, very important is the tool we are going to use. So it's a, a brush, the pin brush. This is my my favorite. Something around. Two centimeters or around one inch of length of the of the of the of the needles on this one. Okay. Then uh, my favorite uh, slicker brush, very nice, soft and easy to maintain. <laughs> okay. And uh, I have a comb. Okay, Sashri's uh, anti-static comb that we are going to use on her. And also some some little uh, adjustment will be done by the scissors. So I have a uh, thinning shears thinning shears and I have uh, little ones that I will use to maintain her pads. Okay? But main focus of this of this live stream actually will be will be the the, the, the baiting and drying because actually that is the, the main thing that makes these dogs be nice and conditioned properly. Okay? Any one of you would love to ask any questions please do not hesitate and uh, my assistants, friends and colleagues will just, you know, have it transferred to me, so I'll be very happy to answer, okay? So now we are into the tub. tub. I do not brush the dog in between the beds. I do not advise that to either to my clients or to my students to follow that routine because as much as you are brushing the dog in between the bathing, if not done properly, you are making much more damage to the coat than actually helping it. Damage in way of breaking the coat on one stage and on the other, if do not penetrate it properly to the skin, actually what you can end up doing is having more tangles than you would have if you do not perform brushing the dog at all. So, brushing the dog only while you are drying the dog and today, I just, uh, in, in order that you want to uh, share, the, if you're a professional groomer and you want to share this video um, on your page, so you might end up having some, you know, client, uh, some clients who own Havanese uh, might be interesting to see this video. So this message and tips would be also very helpful to them. So I will, uh, yes? Your question, will you be putting the head here up in a top knot? 
Yes, but it's a have an ease. It's not a difficult talk not to do. But yes, I will do it on the end. Okay? But what I will do is actually I will perform the, uh, the, the drying with a regular dryer. So uh, things that you will be able to do uh, at your home if you are bathing your dogs as, a, as an owner. Or um, if you are a groomer, how you can advise your owners to do it properly, to do it properly at home. Okay? Uh, okay, so now in a tub. Okay, and I have um, Nala is going to be ready to be baited. I'm, uh, I have a shampoo, okay, shampoo, shampoo, Sacheries shampoo, and we will use a Sacheries conditioner. And we will adjust uh, the concentration of both to the skin of the dog, uh, skin and the coat of the dog, okay. Uh, now, yes. I work on my own and I'm only given one and a half hour per dog. What is this to, to groom to a high standard with the time given? Okay, so you will see that the uh, baiting and drying of the dog, uh, the big role in, the, in this procedure plays a type of the cosmetic you use, type of cosmetic you use. Uh, the maintenance of the coat, are you baking it once in a week or once every 10 days or I don't know what is your routine, but usually advice would be to, to have them baked, baked once in a week, so once in seven days. As much as the dog is maintained, the time will be Shorter. Okay, I don't know what was the last time. <laughs> I don't know what was the last time she was baited, but I okay. First time I will use uh, okay. I will use a shampoo directly from the directly from uh, from the bottle. So I do this because she's a dog that lives outside. So I want to have her completely uh, out of any dirt. <laughs> Uh, no joint, joint. Ali, uh, I don't uh, just uh, just. A second. I don't know how to see the. My progress. Okay, I don't know. We have questions, but I don't see questions on this. Um, can you just swipe them left and right or something like that. Any questions? I know that the Facebook will ask questions, but we need to find a way to see them. Ima sigurno su rekli hi, bye, regards from here and from there. Can I ask the questions? Okay. Uh, the lady in the question before said usually the dogs come every three months. Every so, three months? Yeah, that's because... Yeah, that is what, what I was speaking, um, what I was speaking all over the place. The time and the, the, those routines that you will be baiting the dog one in one in the three three months actually is not a routine that uh, that helps you you know live with the animal in the same life life space and environment. Uh, the, a lot of um, veterinarians will tell you that kind of suggestion. You don't need to wash the dog more than once in you know once in a month or once in three months or whatever they will say. But the problem is that today you are not baiting the dogs because of the coat, you are baiting the dogs because the dog sleeps uh, in, 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 uh, in the house and sleeps with you in a bed. The idea of baiting dogs today is to have them clean because of the hygiene and the nice uh, lifestyle of the family that the dogs is living with. And if you are, you know, trying to learn your, um, your, your clients what is about. The grooming of today is not because of the show, it's not because of the coat, it's not because... That's secondary result. The primary idea of having the dogs be groomed is because you want them, you know, clean in the home. And if you know that, the only idea would be which kind of type of cosmetics you need to use that will be very helpful to the maintain of the skin and coat, as well to give you possibility to, uh, you know, nourish the the house where the coat, where, where the dog actually lives. So this is the first shampoo. 
Sometimes I might not want to use it uh, like uh, highly concentrated, but this shampoo is very uh, soft formulated and uh, when the dog is so dirty, you can just apply it directly from the... And I, this, is, this is what I uh, ask my owner to do, is not to have her groomed freshly. So she is something around, uh, okay. So this formula is actually uh, fast rinse, very much easy to be rinsed from the coat. And the other type, uh, oh, and the other idea is to be, uh, to be, to be, how can I say that? You see? The dirt is out, and the formula is, and the foam is getting very easily rinsed from the coat. Oh, uh, you can, if you are a professional groomer, you can teach your clients to perform this at home. Not in the way that they will do this. Every time I learn someone how it's to be done and what is the purpose of baiting dogs and how it's the right way to be done, I get them just more often in a shop because no one wants to do that at home. But they would be appreciating... Uh, Branka? Branka? You can a t-shirt. Thanks. Uh, and then you have, a, you have idea that the entire entire um, uh, the owners will love and much you know appreciate too much more what I need now is actually the second shampoo that I want to dilute okay we are running out I'm diluting the second shampoo 1 to 20 usually this goes much faster but because I'm speaking too much now it's you know, I'm focusing myself on the story as well. Uh, you might want to follow us on Instagram, Sashris, because our questions are looking like answered only in Instagram because we can't see, we can't see the, uh, the questions on Facebook, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, you see now, the second shampoo is much richer in foam because the coat is the coat is quite clean now. That's what happens when you work with the dogs. Shaking is a normal procedure. Okay. Uh, Instagram account is Sasha Reese, correct? Sasha Reese. So you must you must follow us on Instagram as well. S A S H A. R I E S S. Sasha, please. And uh, yeah, the idea of the shampoo is actually that it's uh, uh, tear free, so tearless. No problem for the eyes, no problem for the puppies, no problem for the sensitive skin. The smell of the lavender is actually a secondary uh, result of having the essential oil of lavender because of the coat and skin hydration. And then what we got is an amazing, amazing smell of the lavender that actually smells very clean. Uh, and again, you wash everything out. The second shampoo is much, much uh, bigger and richer in the foam, foamy. I didn't, uh, I don't groom actually dogs anymore, rather than, rather than just on the live stream, and I really enjoy, sometimes I forgot how much I love to bathe the dogs, and I really enjoy this, you know, transformation of the coat that you can feel it under the, under the, under the, 
If you're a professional groomer, can you type just either I will see the comments later on and I will all answer all of the comments and questions on uh, Facebook as well. If you are a professional groomer, can you type do you bait your dogs yourself or you have your assistant do that for you? I, I'm just curious about how much of you professional guys is hiring a professional baiters to do the job? And how much of you is doing this, this job on their own system? Sorry? There's no answer to a question, it's an assistant. How many people we have watching us on, uh, on uh, Instagram? Can you track that? Yes, if you look at me. 54. 5, 5, 552. Oh. No. But I've seen it. 3. Oh. 3. Oh. 13. Okay. And uh, you need to rinse a dog perfectly, well, and uh, I was not tracking it, but it was very fast. The boys are the, from Candy. <laughs> no, the phones are from Candy. Our four phones are from Candy. Okay, the phones are from Candy. Two ladies answered. They, they did the best themselves. Yes, I was. I always had an assistant, but from time to time, when I wanted to, you know, enjoy grooming from from beginning till the end, I I did it myself. Sasha has ever used a kid of hers. We have what is your opinion on them. I'm considering getting one to do the initial bed for my farm dogs that I groom. I love them. I love the bed. Heater bed is an amazing. Also for the dog, time saving. Um, also money saving. Also, the saves a lot of cosmetics because our shampoo is approved to be one, 1 to 20, 1 to 30, depending on how often you bake your dog. But if you're using washing systems, we have uh, feedbacks that some of the clients can use it 1 to 100 or even 1, 100, 1 to 120 or something like that. So it's an amazing, I, I like it and the dogs love it a lot because Hydrobait uh, massage the dog and they love it, they enjoy it. Žao mi je što nisam profesionalac, kada mogu da napravim koncentrisanje šamponja da mi je puta tri puta lepša mirisla. Dakle, od kući ispre koje vi puknu vašim šamponom psa, ali opet je miris jače. Divno. Ono što je, ono što ove kako se zove, mi radimo, znači naš, I'll just answer this, you know, the, we often got that feedback from the, from some sort of clients that might, they would might uh, want to have a little harder or a little stronger, stronger um, smell or sense of the shampoo. Uh, but uh, that's not a point. <laughs> that's not a point of, of bathing the dog. Bathing the dogs requires, uh, you know, taking care about the dog. If you want the smell is taking care about you. If you want to appreciate the animal, you must appreciate 200 times more sense of smell that they have than we have. And then the entire idea of, you know, uh, getting a lavender oil that is proven, calming, um, essential oil that can help, you know, get some into the aromatherapy with your, with your animal and dog. Uh, the smell is sometimes completely. We had uh, uh, during we developed our, our shampoo. We had idea to you know to to have more smell in the dog and to have a little um, you know better idea of not only lavender. But then when we get to the testing issue, the idea of uh, you know putting label of 
very, how you call that, um, hypoallergenic shampoo. If we would have a smell, better sign, uh, sign, sign, how do you say, how do you say, smell, 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 okay, let's use it, smell, smell, then actually, uh, that all the additives that need to be added into the shampoo in order to keep the smell for a longer period of time, you know, are very much things that our dog are getting to be allergic on. And then that what, we, what we did is actually we decided not to. So now what I did is because of the drop coat, the shampoo and the, I, I, I did two times shampoo and then I did one time conditioner. And now I just, under my, I diluted the sh uh, conditioner one to 20 around. But now I just want to put a little more because she has a, she, she has a drop coat. So on the end of the coat, I will put a little more, more conditioner. I will leave it for a couple of minutes until I will, you know, massage it in her cell, in, in her. And you can just feel it under your skin, when, when, uh, under your um, uh, hands, when she was, when the coat is actually full and cannot absorb, absorb more of conditioner. How nice. Even if the dog, the, she's not tangled, but you can see that actually the coat is very much nicely, you know, getting every single hair is on its own. And you can very easily see that. Oh, Buffy, I love you too. Just a little more. Okay, so I'm saying I have used the conditioner real prior to washing as a demeter and it works well. Yes, as well. But there is a there is idea also of um, you know putting the putting the process twice rather than just once. You can do that. You can do that, and we have also very good. You know the idea of using our shampoo as a system is uh, very difficult to be understood by by the industry at the moment because this same formula I will use when I will bathe the poodle. If I will bait the English Setter, Springer Spaniel, English Cocker Spaniel, Alaskan Malamute, Pomeranian, Nala as the beautiful Havanese, or whatever other breed. Just the idea is dilution, the routine, and also, very important uh, with, the, with, the, with the baking and the rinsing, the conditioner is to put it all out. Even if it's a drop coated grid, you want all the conditioner out from the coat. And then you get chance to work it nicely and smooth. One out, and as you can see, I was uh, washing her herself with the shampoo, and there is no irritation on the skin at all, on the on the eyes at all. You know, it's nice and white. The the primary, you know, this little, and it speaks a lot about uh, about the quality of the formula. It's a tree less. It's a sen sensitive for the puppies. It also give a great results for the white dogs. And we are done. Patricia said I used the conditioner first in bed the coat, then bed it and condition it as well able to save very bad coat. Great, Patricia. Patricia from UK. Hi Patricia. And you see now actually the coat is uh, very easily now already she will you know give her a 
see very nice, clean, soft. I can feel that under my under my um, fingers. Yes, finger. Okay. I do now the. I put her in the. Should I put you? Huh? Do you love it? I love it. Thank you. It was great. Now pull out the unnecessary coat, unnecessary water. Be the first. Do you express snap glands, Sasha? Uh, well, uh, it's not my cup of tea, but sometimes I do. <laughs> when, when it's needed, I do. I do. But once you have a dog on a regular basis, you want to do that up to the need. Do not do it as a, as a must. You just feel it when it's needed to be performed. Okay. Little to me and then little to you. Okay, and now I will just put her in a tub. Uh, not in a tub, in a towel. Wow. Like a little baby. And I will maybe try to fix now. Uh, is there any questions you would love me to ask? Uh, maybe I will just, I'll keep her now a little bit in a, in a towel and maybe I'll try to fix and <laughs> to see how can I see the, 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 the ideas of here. Now we maybe see something, okay? Okay. Uh, now, I will put this away. I will have it back with me when needed. And the always question, how do I, you know, perform the drying if I'm alone? I don't have a stand dryer. The dog is not with a groomer. I have only one hand and I have one dryer and I have a wet dog. What to do? I'm just... Okay. Uh, I just want to have one chair. I'll take a chair. This is a type. Um, this is a type of the grooming I sometimes share with my clients, so I can help them learn how they can do this at home. And once once they teach and learn what is all about, usually what happens is that they <laughs> they come more often because they can't do it properly. And when you uh, show them what is uh, Benefit or what is a, what is a, what is a, how you say that? Uh, what can be a problem if it's not performed properly? Then they put that in the routine of higher and um, much often, you know, coming into the grooming shop. Okay. So what I do usually is uh, uh, with the drop coats. Can you hear me? Okay, uh, the question is where to put the dry. One idea is to put it like this. And then to work, work it out, to work it out uh, this way. And mostly of the groomers, the groom dogs are actually doing it that way and now you can play nicely I just need to put
first I I use the fingers. Okay. And then later on I will use a slicker brush if needed. And now uh, watch the time. What is the time now? 10 to 3. 10 to 3. We started this live stream at 2.30, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2.20, 5 or something like that. So, and uh, let's see how many times we will need to do this. To do this. And you watch it from this end. So you might see. And you see how the coat is very nice and heavy and rocky. Straight. Sorry. So if you are an owner, everything you always want to see is a line, line of the skin, so you then know that actually everything you do is free of tangles. Let me just Free of tangles. Would you use a force dryer, high velocity on this course? I don't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, even if I will have an, uh, you know, if I will do it in my shop, I will always do with a stand dryer or with a hand dryer like this. So this is a, this is a way how you can, you know, help yourself, because look at how the coat is nice and straight. I use a flat iron also on the drop coat after I dry them first of all. Yes, we can, uh, we can do that on the end if needed. I also can prepare. But also you, uh, you need to know actually that uh, it's, uh, you know, very much drying it out. And if you know that you will use uh, the, the, the iron on the end, then you don't need to be very much strict in uh, drying the coat till the end or use some type of uh, hydration spray in order to keep the to keep the coat, coat be moisture moisturized If you are the owner, or if you are working with the owners, maybe it's an idea, this dog is not used to it. But if I work with some dogs from the puppy age, I teach them to lay on the bed, uh, to lay on the side. And then I would, uh, you know, perform the, you see here, she's a little tangled. You can even mess around. And all what we will do is just, you know, Use a little slicker brush to open the mats, uh, the thin brush to open the mats, and then just use a slicker brush to pull the things out. And also, you see what we pulled only two things that created the mat, so it's not a big deal. Which make of slicker are you using that is it a soft slicker suitable for toy polo with soft coat, Patricia? Uh, this slicker brush, yes, it's also suitable for the for the slicker. I, um, this slicker brush is great, and I highly recommend it. It's a, you know, you can find it uh, 
I think you will be able to find it from the next week on our online shop as well. And you can, they are coming in uh, three different varieties. And this one I use for the drop coat when they are a little bit tangled. You know, here she has a little big, bigger tangle. Is it suitable for first product with soft coat? Yes, very easily. Very easily. Because actually, what is great with this coat, with this, uh, uh, with this, this uh, flicker brush is a, is a saw. You see this shape, and then the longness of the pin is giving them possibility to be very, 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 very soft. And then the shape of the of the of the pillow and the shape of the of the of the brush as well is giving you very nice natural way of you know and you see this was tangled and in just couple of couple of seconds there is no tangles anymore. Always keep the Keep the leg under the armpit and for the, till the elbow, so the dog is not pulling it away from you, and then you're not getting chance to hurt the dog and the dog's leg. Because of this, uh, you want to teach your dogs from the age, of, of, from the puppy age, to love and to enjoy baiting and drying. Because otherwise, you will have a problem. You don't want to force the dog to do nothing. You must, you know, have them cooperate with you, and then you do everything from the from the heart, and they will work for you from the heart. You don't need to press them to, you know, make them be suffer because you choose to have a long coat or you choose to have them to take them to show if you choose that that kind of lifestyle the only thing what you do what you need to do is just work with your dog and then you know teach them to enjoy they will always work for you no matter which what you choose you know even the dogs in circus can be learn to enjoy that type of performances as well you know the sometimes the agility is looking strange to some people but it's really way of the of the dogs enjoying it same is with the dog show if you train your dog and if the character of the dog is that they enjoy you need to do that but do not you know just decide to go on dog shows and to keep the dog in coat and then you know struggle with baiting and drying because that will be you know like the go going to be punished with that and it's the best age to start at is a puppy age and i explain all of that in the beautiful uh, video series that on our on one course of ours that i need how to develop the perfect client that you can enroll for free on the sasharisacademy.com and you see how I work with the puppies I had the little schnauzer there and how do you work with the puppies from the age of uh, six weeks Have you ever used to spray on living conditioner? Uh, I actually never use a leave-in conditioner and I don't leave anything in the coat because I think the best possible way to, you know, to work with the coat is to ask nature to help you. So if uh, you have a leave-in conditioner will attract more dirt and leave, if you leave any kind of conditioner will have just be, a, the conditioner will, you know, play the role as being the glue to the dirt and then, you know, only coat that grows is a 
clean coat. And if your dog is tangling in, uh, I don't know, six weeks, uh, maybe weekly, or that is the routine that you need to develop and look for. Uh, you know, just brush your dog and bait it and leave it without brushing it. Because sometimes the client will say, I'm brushing my dog, but they will do it like this, you know, all over the place. And instead of brushing it out, they will just make it be more tangled. The only way that you will be able to have this beautiful line so you actually see what you work on is if you have it, you know, clean and and uh, and washed. <coughs> okay. Got the same thing from the next side. Then you close it, man. You guys can stop. You guys can get lost to the culture of the system. Aha. Nala is a great girl. She's owned by uh, my very good friend Branka from uh, Black Snowflake. Black Snowflake. Yeah, Black Snowflake's kennel. And uh, Nala is one of the top winning dogs in her kennel. Is that true? More or less, yes. So, uh, and Branka treats her like a little baby, more than like a doll. <laughs> does she? Or how to put us by never to come out of there, we should have a cow future. Yeah, all the dogs. Like we all do, and that's not, uh, nothing is bad in that, but on the end of the day, you just need to be aware, it's not the other person, it's an animal. And it's nothing bad treating the animal like a person, just be aware of that. And sometimes, your behavior will change, subconsciously. But also, it's very, uh, very much, uh, it's very much difficult to treat animal like a human <laughs> without being aware of that. Then you end up having a lot of trouble in the relationship. And everyone suffers. Everyone suffers. Loving a dog like a human, like other person, it's okay. But being aware of that helps you do not make uh, problems out of that relationship. Not being aware of that takes you to the forbidden garden. And it's also, if you have a uh, need, to pull the dogs can, uh, not can, uh, but uh, can up. This way, a lot. To put to put the to put the leg up, you always want to keep the dog, you know, to the key bone and then place it back and then or front. But use it naturally. If you want to put a little side, because you want to, I don't know get approach to some other parts of the dog's body like here or like you always do it with a full can and just slightly do not pull it out because it hurts them a lot especially if they are short legs okay <laughs> Usually, so uh, only tool I use for to wash and bait 
the Havanese and all kinds of drop coats like Laza, silky coats like Maltese. Maybe for the Maltese I wouldn't use uh, this brush, but uh, maybe a little more softer than this. But if the dogs are in a bed trim, I would probably uh, use the same. We are going very quickly because actually around 15 minutes we are, you know, baiting the dog. No baiting, but drying the dog. That is used to make sure. Uh, you ask uh, questions uh, and I will answer them after I'm, uh, you know, done with the. With the I, I, I'll answer you in chat, and you can, you know, comment and speak in between you too. There. I'm still getting hot. That dryer has to be hot. No, uh, it's a medium. It's a medium. I'm hot because uh, we closed all of the windows and because of the dog is drying, there is no um, air conditioning. So what's actually is happening to me is I'm hot, but uh, it's a medium. Medium low cost. So now the most is like this huge. It's all for the coffee mug. Yeah. Hold on. Is uh, Suiza. Is it the telephone? You 
temperature varies on medium and medium. Yes. Yes, medium and medium. Yes. Medium. Yeah. How can you blend it? There is an owner watching the side. Next time, y'all ask From entire, from entire dog, this is what I uh, pulled out only. Because I, I, I'm not pressing it hard; it's very soft. It stays very soft in my, in my hands. Oli se vi to ovdje branka. Tu. What is your little dose with the dog with fleas? Or any other part that for the mother? For the fleas? Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, the fleas are a result of the diet. For anyone who has a trouble with the fleas, Please uh, look aside uh, a lot of uh, good artic articles about uh, raw dieting. If uh, my friend from England, um, Patricia, is watching, please put some comments below where the people can see more results on that. Because the acidness of the skin and actually the blood it's giving a great potential for fleas to be developed. Sometimes the dogs that are uh, raw fed and on a raw diet, they are not even you know, uh, using those kind of uh, anti-fleas, um, how can we call that, uh, products, yes. And they are free of fleas and ticks and uh, you know, all kinds of problems because uh, that is what is actually very natural state of the skin and the health of the dog where the fleas are actually do not feeling themselves very you know comfortable living in so if you have a trouble with the fleas the fleas you have everywhere the, 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 the way you can uh, get rid of the fleas are two one you will apply some flea shampoo whatever then you will recommend to your clients to use some uh, some product that will um, you know prevent flea from being there. But how they work? They will actually you will put them here, then they will penetrate the skin and they will go around in the blood, you know, changing the pH of the skin itself. So because of that, the, the, the ticks and the fleas will not be able to, you know, be... The same thing can be uh, achieved with uh, maybe Constanza. If we have Constanza on call, I'm sure that she might help you with some links on how to, you know, feed raw and safe and uh, what is actually in behind. Because my, uh, my intention always when I speak to my students uh, this might be a very nice question, so I might uh, put a little off my, my dryer. So I, um, the, always when you, when, you, when, you, when you want to help your clients, uh, always try to find the cause. The fleas are on the dogs. The question is why the fleas are on the dogs. Because 
the fleas, uh, the fleas somehow you know, ended up being, uh, uh, being there. What we can do in order to prevent fleas from, from attacking the dog is, one, uh, have the products that will help you get there, but much better idea is to uh, make a natural environment, environment and state on the dog so the fleas will not feel themselves welcome. One of the idea of getting there is actually a diet. Raw diet, if followed properly, can help you have that kind of body system and system actually created that will be pure nature, including fleas staying away from the dog. Uh, research on that and then advise your clients to research on that. Do, do not give advice because you giving advice is something you, you tell them something wrong then they listen to you and they said, oh, he told me that. But if you engage them in order to research so they come on the conclusion themselves, uh, you will become the best friend of theirs because actually you directed them and they got a conclusion. That's what I do always. So you think a dog diet can basically invite invite into please? Yes, sure. Quite sure. Quite sure. Because if you will see some of the big brands of the of the of the food chain are also producers of the brands that prevents fleas. So they know the trick. <laughs> They know the they, 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 they know the problem, so they solve the problem, and the problem is solved. Um, but if you get an idea to prevent fleas and to create a system of the body that is actually flea flea free, it's a diet. Raw diet. Get get a little more on that. I never thought of that, thank you. Thanks a lot. Ali, ne, produžni, donesite ovdje. Dakle, moće. Super, moće se moći. from the back of the dog. The conditioner plays very nice role in uh, detangling because the idea is also to pull out not too, too much. Do you use aromatherapy in the fuse in your shop? I used when I had a shop, I did use, and usually the only since I did have was the lavender one. I'm in love in lavender. So because of that, I have it now in my shampoo. Lavender one. Like video and... Yeah. Let me do this one. Yeah. 
i tu da mogu da nas prati dalje na sve.
On the end of the day, she went to sleep. Ended up the job. Okay, now she's. Look at how gorgeous the coat is. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. So this is actually the coat that is not even um, like ready for the show yet because she's just. But I think this waviness of the coat does look amazingly nice. Mommy have another dog in her um, in her knees, so because of that, Nala is a little jealous on that. <laughs> Alexander, is it possible to unplug it and see if you can read the question? Na face. You can use a pink comb or you can use just this like me. It's not an idea to do it perfectly when you have everything ready. The idea is how to have it ready. Some lights on the 
in order to make a nice expression to the dog. Just a second. Susreće na Evropsku službi sa rođenom sestrom, pobedala je rođena sestra. Bila najlepša ženka 2015. u Milanu, njena rođena sestra. E sad ćemo mi da pobedimo sestru. Sestru. Da, sad smo mi na vreme krenuli sa frizviranjem i sređivanjem. Nisam imala iskustva. Ovako. Paš je zlato. I stavi sve. Sad joj je sin. Već mlade šampion Španije, smo se malo hvalili, ima i dobro potomstvo. Okay, we are back. I just uh, had my assistant get uh, access to the to the question, so maybe we can ask something or not. We live a bit in there. Okay, so what I like to do is actually I first. To se malo na tapira može to to je dozvoljeno da se. Na dobro bre, čovjek samo da napravi. Okay, so what I do first is I make a this idea from here, line in between, and I just make a little bit. One side. Because uh, the expression of the Havanese, it says very nice developed and big head. One of the breed characteristics. Yes. <laughs> and I think this one just a so 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 Mi se trudimo da budemo prirodno lepo. Am I going to add new products to my line? I said no, because actually everything you need is already in the line. <laughs> and this is just a second. Uh, You should do a shih tzu next, with show top knot. Mm -hmm. 
Idi da spokačeš ovaj kako se zove. Am I going to add? So actually, the entire idea was to have a dog as much as possible in the natural natural look. And uh, if someone was me, do you want me to be over the period? I have some the. So the harmony should appear in the nice uh, natural look. The idea would be to have her in a cold quality as we did, like uh, very nice Tuchia. Now a style. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask on any time. Um, you can find all of the products I used in order to create Nala's outline was at sashuris.com and uh, I look forward to seeing you next Monday with some other breed. Yes, Shih Tzu might be an ideal idea too for the, for the, for the grooming. And the uh, entire picture of okay. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you did enjoy it. This is my little puppy today, little Nala. Of um, and uh, it was really big pleasure grooming her. I hope you enjoyed, learned something more, and um, you know. We all love this beautiful Havanese, all for the Havanese love. Thank you so much for your time uh, and uh, see you next Monday. Bye.